A quick video about benzyl penicillin doses when you're suspecting bacterial meningitis, so someone's got a non-blanching rash with a fever, or someone who's suspected meningococcal disease, what dose do you give to that patient? There's three doses to remember. Adult or child age 10 or above, 1200 milligrams of benzyl penicillin is a single dose given parentally. If you're a child between one and nine, your dose halves. It's 600 milligrams as a single dose of parental benzyl penicillin. And if you're a child under the age of one, it halves again, it's 300 milligrams as a single parental dose of benzyl penicillin. How do you give it? Ideally, you give it as IV, but if you can't get IV access, then you give it as IM. If you give it as IM, you try and give it as proximally as possible in ideally a warm area where you're getting good perfusion. Is the patient allergic to uh, penicillin? There has to be a clear history of penicillin anaphylaxis to avoid giving benzyl penicillin. If you get someone with a history of like a rash with penicillin, for example, that's not enough. It's got to be pure anaphylaxis. If someone does have a history of anaphylaxis, then you withhold treatment. There's no substitute that NICE recommend. You need to get them straight into hospital as quick as you can. That's your priority then. Have a look at CKS meningitis for further information. Benzyl penicillin, three doses, 1200 milligrams, 600 milligrams, 300 milligrams, ideally IV, but I am if you can't. Hope this helps.